Good morning, LifePoint Church, and welcome to this week's Daily Devotionals. I know we're going to have a great week, and I want to thank you for joining me here this week, and hope you continue every day as we come back here for our devotionals. Today we're talking about Mary's little lamb, or better how you probably know it, or how we all know it, is Mary had a little lamb. If you ever picked up an instrument or just kind of fiddled on the piano, you probably played this song. You played it perfectly because it's so easy to play. It was Sarah Josepha Buell. She was born on October 24th in 1788. She became a school teacher at the age of 18, and she was asked to write some lyrics for a man that would introduce music to America's school curriculum. And she wrote a few poems, and he picked one called Mary's Little Lamb. And it was on this day in 1830 that Mary had her little lamb story published in school books all over America and would impact the world so significantly that we're still talking about it today. Something so small that can have such a big impact on the whole country or the whole world. We're reminded in the Bible that Jesus talks about this. He talks about it in the book of Matthew chapter 13. And it says, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It's the smallest of all the seeds, but when it's grown, it's taller than the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the sky may come and nest in its branches. So next time you think that you have just a little bit of faith or just a little bit of trust or you're praying just a little bit, just remember Mary's little lamb. Remember the mustard seed. On the small things that we do every day can have such a big impact. So let's go and take just a little faith. The little faith that you have left or just a little bit of trust that you have left Let's just pray a little bit more. Let's go ahead and just do a little bit more for the kingdom of God and watch what he can do in our lives and our spiritual lives and for our friends and our family. Thank you for joining me here today. and look forward to coming back with you again tomorrow.